So, hi guys. Um, I'm gonna start talking now. So before we, um, before we begin, I just want to see what the market is doing right now. It seems the market has opened down a little bit. Um, not really sure why. I think, um, and honestly, like this is something that I don't really care about as well, right? Unless there is a big news. Uh, these kinds of fluctuations, down 0.3 percent, down 0.4 percent, like these kind of fluctuations are something that are inherent in every market. The fundamental law of trading says markets move, right? We can't do anything about it. We can try to profit from it. We can try to lay off risk, uh, but the fundamental truth is that markets move. So we have three trades running right now. Like I said last time around, I had forgotten to put. Uh, the nifty trade this week which is fine because the the idea behind this trade which is called the vrp trade is that the vrp is always there what is the vrp the vrp is called this volatility risk premium which says that when i'm selling options i'm taking <coughs> i'm taking lots of risks and there is one particular risk for which the market compensates you right and that risk is called the volatility risk so how do we express that it's expressed <coughs> excuse me in the form of that more often than not the uh, implied volatility at which you sell options tends to be higher than the realized volatility that the underlying takes over the life of that particular option and that is what drives my pnl when i'm putting these kinds of trades on in the long run i think i've put on five or six trades so far I will upload uh, all my trades PNL on a shared Google sheet that I'll just open for everybody. I'm in the process of building that out. We've only taken, I think five or six trades so far. Uh, but anyway, today is bank nifty expiry. And like I said, we are not really interested in holding positions on zero DTE. So let's quickly get out of our bank nifty position. So we've made. Uh, a nice profit, you know, eight and a half percent profit over a one week period on our margin deployed. Uh, notice this is not my actual capital. My capital is a lot higher. I've allocated, I think around 10 lakhs of capital to these kinds of positional trades. And uh, this is just one trade that I put on. I have three trades running concurrently right now. I will put on a fin nifty trade this morning. Fin nifty was not very good to us. Uh, it wasn't very good to us in the last trade. We lost around 4,000 rupees on that. But anyway, let's close out this position first. And then um, let's close this guy and let's close this guy. Let's get rid of our short strikes. Um, so let's do that first. Yes, I'm not logged into a broker. So <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. So as has been our practice with the strategy builder. Uh, since this product is in beta issue was so I'll come back to it. Let's actually place these orders first. So I want to buy this guy. I want to buy this guy. Um, I probably place this mid market and then yeah, that's fine. Let's just get out of our positions first. Again, there's a bit of a delay in getting these uh, updates from the from the broker. Um, there you go. So position has now been closed. Uh, made a nice profit of 3,800 rupees. I have another 50 rupees on the table, um, but I'll just let it ride for now. There's really um, I'll close it. Probably maybe I'll close it in a bit. But this is not the core of our trade. So let's actually focus on what our trade is going to be. So this is Bank Nifty. We've closed this at a profit. Whatever loss we made yesterday, uh, we've covered most of that now. We have a mid-cap trade running, the trade that we put on yesterday. So let's take a look at that. Um, we are still between our strikes, which is good. Um, expiry is on Monday. So we'll revisit this. We'll keep revisiting this, you know, once or twice a day. But I don't need to be glued to my screen and I don't need to be looking at what mid-cap is doing. If it does nothing, that's great for us because that is essentially the trade. We don't want it to do anything crazy, right? 
so let's take a look at our third trade which had been running which is the monthly trade that we put on in nifty this i think should be doing well um yeah so this is doing well nifty is down a bit since we put this trade on but um vix i think overall fell quite a bit yesterday i think it's back up a little bit right now but again these changes in vix are not much but uh, i think the fall yesterday would probably have mattered because um, you know volatility as it is is so low that even a one or two point decrease in vix uh, will get uh, will get reflected in our pnl because the premiums are so low and we are selling um so we are already up 2000 rupees on this trade which is Uh, so the way to think about it is whatever the difference is between your implied volatility and realized volatility i'll probably say we have some data around this i'll probably share that in the in the next few days to come but uh, if there is you know a two point difference between implied volatility and realized volatility so right now if iv the iv that we sold it at uh, sold this triangle at was 11.5 and 10.3 so let's say it's you know somewhere around 11 uh, and realized volatility is 9 then uh approximation and a close approximation of what my expected pnl is going to be is two times the vega the two comes from the two point differential and vega essentially just tells you what the price what the change in my price of the option is as the implied volatility changes right so um essentially if implied volatility is 11 realized volatility is 9 that difference is 2 and 2 times vega is what i expect to make on average in this particular trade of course individual trades the pnl will vary i may make more money i may i may make less money i may lose money also right but on average the idea is if i can manage my risk uh well enough i should be able to capture this in this case if my vega is 1500 rupees so a 1% increase in implied volatility is going to give me a loss of 1500 rupees and consequently a 1% decrease in implied volatility will give me 1500 rupees of profit right so two two points here would be like around 3000 rupees um but we'll just hold on to this right now it's only been a few days since we put this position on let's take a look at i don't think we have any other positions running right now so this was the trade yesterday that uh we closed at a loss so we closed at a loss of 5200 rupees and uh, so i guess technically we're still in a drawdown uh in this particular strategy um from a booked profits perspective not from a running m2m perspective so um mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so this is uh this is our fin nifty position let's actually create a new fin nifty position right now it wasn't a uh, fin nifty wasn't kind to us in the last trade but let's actually put on a new fin nifty position so the trade is going to be um the same trade you know uh the loss in the last trade doesn't mean that this trade has stopped working so we'll put this position on again and we'll uh, play the same game we sell the 30 delta strangle and then we buy the uh close to the 5 delta let's see so our maximum loss here is around 15000 rupees coming from the downside so i'm like okay you know what i don't want to lose that much my risk reward i'm okay with losing around 11000 rupees as part of my risk reward right so with that in mind i'll put this trade on and we'll monitor it um so let's go live trade let's call it fin nifty vrp_3 confirm and let's put this trade on mm -hmm. i always like doing things mid market uh, 25 let's do it 60 let's sell this that has gone away from us as i'm putting these positions on let me just do this place order place oh galat place ho gaya hmm interesting so one is completed this is by
and the last one is interesting when the pop-up comes this price goes away right so let's sell this guy as well place all orders so i can place them all i can place all these orders together or i can just place them one by one i chose to place them one by one this time around um i still have an open order which is why my payoff graph is looking like this um so let's do this and there you go so the position is now complete and we'll monitor this right so now we have a mid cap trade running a fin nifty trade running we have a nifty monthly trade running and um and now we have a fin nifty trade running tonight uh, by tonight i mean probably today in the afternoon before the market closes or early tomorrow morning i'll uh, roll over our bank nifty trade so we made money in bank nifty made around 3800 rupees and i'll roll it over to tomorrow um don't have to close out any more trades today um i don't think so so yeah guys this is um this is what it looks like right now i have four open trades all of them are in somewhat green territory but again like crazy moves from the market or even like any kind of up or down move uh can uh, can hurt our pnl let's actually take a look at you know let's actually look at our fin nifty trade again because fin nifty was a little crazy yesterday so let's go to trading view fin nifty actually our charts might be operational again let's use our charts for this algo test what in let's go to fin nifty chart just to see what fin nifty did yesterday okay need to fix this guys dashboard so the charts and looks like the chart hasn't been deployed yet so anyway let's look at the fin nifty chart yesterday on trading view cmx finance and let's load our trade from the uh from the strategy builder to the simulator my machine is a little slow because of the streaming let me just kill some of the other applications quit let's import from strategy builder r <laughs> so the fin nifty vrp trade number 2 and what we'll do is um, what we'll do is we will so we closed out our position early yesterday um let's look at the 5 day chart so we closed out our position um yesterday at around 9:30 am i think near the high of this green candle is when we ended up closing out our position if i'm not mistaken um which was a really bad price for us right i just wanted to get out um so yeah it was a really bad price for us let's see what would have happened had we just held on until expiry um so let's go here and let's go to our next trade so around this time which is exactly 2nd april 934 am let's go back one minute and around this is when we decided to close out our trade let's go to our upcoming trades and just delete this trade that we took so we got a really bad price we got 220 rupees on this particular call that we bought back and it was of course uh, fin nifty was uh, like the candle was green and it was a big green candle 
um, and my execution got us to exit probably right at the high uh, or very close to the high so that was really poor execution on my part but anyway let's actually just you know see what would have happened so we lost around 5000 rupees in this trade um but probably shouldn't have lost that much and let's see what would have happened had i just held on until expiry um so 27 31 23 so i would have lost half the amount um, let's auto expire this or let's jump back to expiry <laughs> oops um yeah i probably would have lost like half the amount that i actually ended up losing and this was sort of the cost that i was willing to pay i guess like this is me justifying it after the fact right but this is the cost that i was willing to pay to just not having to look at uh, the screen all day to see what my pnl is doing right i was just like chalo bhai let's book the loss uh fin nifty moved quite a bit in the last 5 days since we put on this position and we don't really expect to make money in this in this trade if the index behaves this way right if it's just gone straight 500 points uh since we put this trade on the expectation like we are not going to make money in this trade when this happens right and so it's no, there's no point in trying to fight fight the market and trying to just get out uh positive especially for somebody who has a full time job is doing something else the idea is hey i'll just log in once in the morning i'll close out my position if i'm at a loss and then i'll just go about the rest of my day right and that's what we did with fin nifty and sometimes you know you'll get poor execution so in this case uh had i held on to my position i would have not lost as much i would have lost 2500 instead of 5000 rupees but um in the long run this kind of averages out right so for example if we remember uh i think it was the monthly expiry the 20 uh, 28th march which was the last expiry of the fiscal year where we closed out our position uh i think it was our nifty position we closed out at 2500 rupee profit and the market was so volatile intraday that day that uh, our 2500 rupee profit at one point was even printing an 8000 rupee loss right um and that's eventually it closed at 1500 profit but um so on that day we outperformed right um by closing early and i who knows what i would have done what decision i would have made if the market just kept rallying up the way it was doing that day and you know at one point like i showed in the previous video we were we were at an 8000 rupee loss so um yeah so the best thing to do is if you've just decided as part of your system that hey you don't want that expiry volatility which i certainly don't which is why i closed the bank nifty position out today um and uh, and i'm not too worried about this uh extra loss that i incurred on fin nifty because it's just one trade right my pnl my long term pnl will not be driven by one trade as long as my risk is defined the way it is in these trades excuse me my long term pnl will be defined by uh just in general what is the spread that exists between implied volatility and realized volatility which is what i call the uh, vrp right and we are going to go into more detail about how to uh whether there is even whether does it uh, does it even make sense to calculate what that spread is to predict the spread between realized and implied especially for somebody who's looking at it as a retail trader uh you know with limited capital limited time in front of the markets one approach you can of course take is what we have in the 920 straddle which is you know you build out your strategy and you put it put it in algo and this is the other way of doing it so both are adequate for retail traders like myself that's what i do i have a bunch of strategies running in 920 and i have this on the positional side and the hope is to make uh you know a decent return risk defined return you have to take some risk you're not going to get you know uh, a zero drawdown strategy because the money that you're making is precisely because of the risk that you're taking the risk from selling these options so let's just expire this now let's show you guys this feature as well um i'll right click on go back one minute and then let's go back up one minute so okay so this is something that's broken okay there you go auto expire now jump back to expiry let's try to just replicate this bug uh, uh, uh. so when i do plus one day 
it doesn't work at 15:30 okay so all right guys so i think i'm going to end the stream now and uh, um i see ramneet is sending messages here should have closed before market moved what are you talking about man has the market moved just yet right now or were you talking about yesterday when i was doing the simulator stuff um, anyway i'll close out the stream now and uh, um we'll we'll connect again today in the afternoon to see what how our trades are doing and put on the bank nifty position thanks guys bye and